Hi, today I want to talk about how to get more workout in your arms while you're doing a dance exercise class. So a lot of students tend to have really mushy arms, so they're probably not using their muscles a whole lot and not getting a lot of arm workout. But while you're dancing, let's work on our triceps and biceps too to get that nice arm turning in. The uh, first thing we can try is freezing your arms. So let's take a tricep freeze to the side. You're going to start with your arm across your chest and you're going to bring it out to the side. Now you don't just want to slowly bring it out to the side. Oh, that's a little workout too just because your arm is up you're getting a little workout. But you get more workout if you freeze it. So that stopping, sudden stopping motion uses my tricep muscle right here because it's a lot of effort to stop something that was going so fast. Stop, stop. If I don't do the freeze, it just looks like this. That's not nearly as much work. It doesn't look as dramatic either. So for emphasis in the music, sometimes your instructor might make very sharp movements to go along with the music and that's good for your arm workout. You're going to keep it tense just for a little bit and then you bring it back in. So you might do it with a step like this. But before you go to class and you just want to practice it, think about freeze, freeze. Okay, you could also do a bicep freeze. Bicep freeze would be and as your arm is up, you're going to Stop it, stop that motion, and it engages your bicep. You might do that with a pump, with a pelvic pump. You can also do an overhead sway. Um, you might be marching forward or backward. And instead of just swaying your arms gently across the top, which doesn't use as much effort in your arms, you can think, freeze, freeze usually with the beat of the music, freeze. So right now, on my right arm, I'm using my tricep. On the left arm, it's your bicep. And we'll go in the other direction. Freeze, 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 freeze. Okay, some other freezing arm movements would be the sprinkler. This is a sprinkler. Um, you might do it as you're doing a heel jack, forward or backwards. Here's a heel jack and it could sprinkle. Or you might just do it with a march. What's important here is, here my arm is inside. As my com arm comes to the outside, you want to freeze in your tricep area. Freeze. Freeze. So it looks a little sharper. Freeze. 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 If I don't freeze, it looks like this. Here's freeze, 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 freeze. A lot more work for your arms. Okay, another one would be fanning your forearms out to the side. You can freeze those. And keep your elbows close to your waist and just fan the arms out. I use that when I'm gonna jump to the side. Freeze, it's like surprise. Another opportunity to use the arm freezing movements would be just pushing your arms forward. So say if I'm doing a heel jack, Backward, I can push, push. Now, I'm going to show you from the side. You don't just want to gently push. You want to push like you're really pushing it away. Push, and as you push away, you stop. Freeze those arms when they come forward. Stop, stop. Sometimes you might do it every other time. So you might do it sharp and then a little mushy. Sharp and then a little mushy because that might go with the music better. You don't want to have sharp movements every single second of the hour that you're dancing. You need to contrast it with some mushier movements. Even arm circles could be done with a sharp movement or alternating sharp movements with mushy movements. For example, you may do something like this where every time you come forward, it's sharp, sharp, sharp. Here's mushy, nothing's really happening. Da, 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 sharp, sharp. That's gonna use my muscles more every time it goes around. You do it backwards. 
This is the other side of your arm. Even if you're doing a hip circle, here my arms are just mushy, but what about alternating this mushy one with a sharp one? Sharp, mushy, sharp, mushy, or I mean, look fast, slow, fast, slow, other side, slow, fast, slow, fast. Besides freezing our arm movement, there may also be retraction. So for example, if you're gonna punch, right after you punch your fist, and that's a freezing moment, your hand actually snaps backwards a bit. That's the retraction. I'll show you from the side. Punch. I'll do a more slow motion. Punch. And there's this part where your hand comes back right after it freezes. Freeze. And notice how the, it does, the fist doesn't just stay there. It's not going to stay in your opponent's face if you're actually fighting. You want to bring it back right away so they don't grab your arm. So that's going to happen during your dance exercise too if you happen to do any kind of punching movement. Okay, another tip for using your arms besides freezing your arms is just moving your arm side to side but really bending your elbow and extending your arm. You know, some people might do it half-heartedly or keep their arms down kind of low. You've seen students doing the merengue like this. Okay. Bring those arms up, make them parallel to the floor, really bend the elbow and bring that arm back. When I bring it forward, I'm using my bicep. When I bring my forearm back, almost straight, but don't really lock it, but almost straight, you're gonna use your tricep. So you could do that on the merengue three-step. Now I don't necessarily wanna freeze my arms here, because that would be overdoing it, probably doesn't go with the music. The feet are not freezing so much. So it's a lighter arm movement, but really bends those arms, stretch them, reach them. Same with a regular merengue march. Notice the forearm goes back and comes forward. Back, forward. When it comes back, I'm using my tricep. When it comes forward, I'm using my bicep. Really get that swinging motion in there, but feel control over your arm at all times. You're controlling when it goes forward, you're controlling when it goes backward. It's the same thing on a Charleston step. Notice how my elbow is bending and straightening, and I'm letting my arm swing all the way back. You could have a bent elbow here. You could even do this move with straight arms. But you really want to let those arms swing. I see a lot of students doing the Charleston like this. Their arms are just having a dandy old time, but they're not getting any exercise out of this. They're going to move those arms. Okay, here's a mushy, mushy arm movement that I like to do a lot. Snake arms. Um, it's very co common in Latin dancing or in belly dancing. So you start by moving your rib cage to the side and your arms are just going to naturally follow your rib cage movement. So everything's coming from the rib cage. So I chest slide to the right and then my elbow comes out to the right and then my wrist comes out to the right and then my fingers stretch and then you start all over. Pull it back in, pull that rib cage back in, out, and go to the other side. So this is not a sharp movement, no freezing here. But just because you're keeping those arms up in the air and you're thinking about your elbow coming up you're going to be using your triceps. Okay, so the snake arms in this style looks more like belly dance. But now if instead of lifting my arm up, I just bring my arm out to the side, that's going to look more like Latin arms. So you might do this with a side step together, side step together. So what I'm doing with the arms 
You're going to start with your hand across your chest. You're going to bring the arm out to the side. Almost straighten your arm, but don't lock it. Now you're going to bring your right arm straight in front of you. And bend your elbow and bring it back. And bring your whole arm straight in front of you. So you're making this circle. It's a very long circle. It's like an oval. Right here, my elbow is pointing and leading out. Straighten that arm. I feel pressure on the outside of the hand because I'm pushing away from myself. Now when I'm going to bring it back in, I'm feeling pressure here like you're pushing a whole lot of water. Now bring your elbow out. Pressure in the back of your hand. Bring it in. Pressure in front of your arm. Good. You can also think about doing a mushy, soft movement forward. Maybe if I'm doing a body roll, I might like my arms to go in the opposite direction of my chest. Now my chest comes forward, so my arms go backward. Now my chest comes backward, so my arms go forward. Kind of like you're swimming. No sharp movements here, but you want to keep your arms up. Keep your elbows up. Let your wrists be flexible, moving back and forth. This is what I call the get out of my way or work your way through the swampy molasses. Okay, so we're going to take that arm and it's like, get out of my way. So this works better on your arms. If you use your imagination and you think you're really pushing through some thick substance. So where the work is, is it's right here and I'm pushing it out of the way and I have to imagine that there's something very heavy to push away here. And just imagining that helps you tense up your arm and really use your arm there. So think, out of my way, I'm coming through. You'll use the same move in flamenco during the ole step. This is where the matador has his red cape and he's sweeping it in front of you. So it really needs to use this here. Resist, resist, resist all the way across your body. 